Next on AM 1480 WLEA, The Amy McManus Show. Welcome to The Amy McManus Show on AM 1480 WLEA. Just had an interesting poll uh, online. Uh, it's uh, Fox News Opinion Dynamics. It says an overwhelming majority of American voters agree on at least one thing. That is that the founding fathers would be unhappy with the way things are going in Washington these days. 84% of voters, including a large majority of Democrats, 77%, 92% of Republicans, and 81% of independents say that the founding fathers would indeed be extremely unhappy with the way things are going in America today. In addition, it shows that 46% of voters approve the job President Obama is doing, 47% disapprove. That's down from last month when 50% approved and 42% disapproved. Also, U.S. News and World Report had an online poll that said that uh, 73% of Americans believe that what the administration is doing is a push towards socialism. Only 27% said that he's doing what the country needs. On the subject of socialism, World Net Daily has uh, is, is come across a, a big ad campaign sweeping the Internet. Uh, who's behind it? Well, they say it's operatives who are uh, heavily involved in the DNC, the Democrat National Com- Committee. The campaign is called The Tea Party is Over. You can go to it at theteapartyisover.org. They say it's to, quote, prevent the Tea Party's dangerous ideas from gaining legislative traction. I think uh, after Scott Brown was elected, these people are are panicking, and uh, the Tea Party's become quite energized. The anti-Tea Party website uh, also comes uh, as Illinois is going to have its first in the nation primary. They say our strategy is simple. This movement is a fad, the website states. Some of their ideas include the belief that programs like Social Security and Medicare are socialistic and should have never been created in the first place, and that President Obama is a socialist. Hmm, didn't we just read that, that yes, that's what Americans think? I'm not sure how right-wing the entire country could possibly be. It urges Americans to reject the ideas of the Tea Party, including ideas that undermine the legitimacy of the federal government in favor of... Radical right-wing forms of states' rights. They're talking about the Tenth Amendment there, radical stuff. We need to prevent their dangerous ideas from gaining a foothold. Our strategy is to spread the truth about their dangerous ideas and prevent their policies from taking root in America. They're also putting ads out on Facebook and Twitter. A message left by World Net Daily with the Tea Party is over. We're not returned. They're just ignoring any inquiries. Who else is being ignored? The city of Springfield, Illinois, still has not been fully repaid for costs associated with hosting a then-Senator Barack Obama's presidential campaign stop in the fall of 2008. A bill was sent for $68,139, and Springfield is still owed $55,457. Ernie Slodig, the city spokesman, has said they've been trying unsuccessfully to collect payment. Ken Crutcher, the city's director for Office and Budget, said, We've spoken to a lot of people. We're getting a lot of runaround. We keep finding circles. We get bounced from place to place with respect to this event. The White House referred comments regarding this to the DNC, and a spokesman at the DNC did not respond to to questions. Let's turn them over to a collection agency, quipped Ward 3 Alderman Frank Kuntz. His remark prompted laughter, but then he said, I'm serious. If you guys are serious about going after him, turn them over to a collection agency. Can you imagine that coming through the post office in D.C., a letter to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue with a collection agency on the return address? Good luck with that, Springfield. Another city that's a little desperate, Phoenix City Council this past week approved a sales tax on groceries. It's going to affect tens of millions of dollars, tens of millions of people, and garner tens of millions of dollars. Uh, The 2% food tax, wow, takes effect April 1st and expires after five years. Mayor Phil Gordon said the council has the option of reversing its decisions. They never reverse any decisions when it comes to taxes. Uh, After it hears from the public, during 15 budget hearings that are planned for February. There'll be a tax on milk, meat, vegetables, fruit, and other food. It's going to bring in $12 million for fiscal year ending June 30th. It'll raise another $50 million for fiscal year 2011. Here's the kicker on this. If you have food stamps, your food will not be taxed. How fair is that? The extra tax revenue means Phoenix will save more money in its coffers to help close a $240 million budget deficit. Budget officials proposed cutting $140 million in services last week. Things like transit, um, police officers, firefighters, different citywide positions were all going to be cut. 
Uh, some of the other programs they wanted to cut was some libraries and senior centers that would be closed, an after-school program would be dismantled, and budget and light rail services would be significantly reduced. However, they decided to just tax the food. Uh, it's unclear exactly where the extra money is going to be allocated specifically. Phoenix has not taxed food since the 1980s. I fail to understand how any sane person could possibly think that taxing food can solve anything. Just it's brilliant. Speaking of brilliance, I mentioned last week the uproar over the upcoming uh, Super Bowl ad uh, with Tim Tebow uh, about his mother's decision to resume her pregnancy. Um, but here's the brilliance in this. Uh, some people, rather than spending $3 million uh, to air a 30-second ad during the Super Bowl, um, are just making these commercials, and then CBS standards and practice lawyers are, are rejecting it, which creates a big buzz in the Internet and the media, so everybody's going to YouTube to see the videos anyway. So <laughs> it's pretty smart. They're saving $3 million. Uh, some of the ads that uh, that CBS has has nixed, um, I'm not even going to give you the name of this website because I don't want to give them the credit. But basically, it's a gay dating website, um, and the com- I saw the commercial, and it's a couple of guys watching football um, who give each other a high five, and you can imagine what happens after that. They said that that was inappropriate. Also, another uh, ad that was deemed inappropriate was an ad for GoDaddy, which does uh, domain name registrations. Um, CEO Bob Parsons uh, said that of, of GoDaddy said he was told by the network that his ad was rejected because it could be offensive to a certain class of people. Well, which class of people? I'm not sure. It's an African-American man, a large man named Lola. Uh, he dresses up as a woman with, with makeup and, and, and jewelry, and he wants to start his own lingerie company. So you can imagine that all sorts of classes of people that might be offended by that. People are disappointed because uh, Danica Patrick was supposed to be uh, in this commercial. Uh, it will not be airing. Another, another ad that was uh, refused, uh, the video game Dante's Inferno by Electronic Arts. Uh, in, in the commercial, apparently, they say, go to hell. It's a tagline in it, and CBS said that was too pr- provocative. Um, it's been airing otherwise, this commercial, but CBS said it was not acceptable for, for the Super Bowl. Uh, instead, instead of saying go to hell, uh, they're going to just go ahead and say hell awaits. Apparently that's Dre mod- models, shall we say, um, cozying up to broccoli and pumpkins and, and various fruit items. Classy. Um, back to the Tim Debow commercial, Planned Parenthood has also come out with with a video in response to it, without actually having seen it, apparently. They went out and got a couple of uh, male athletes, Olympic gold medalist Al Joyner and former Minnesota Vikings player Sean James to issue some pro-abortion statements meant to uh, promote abortion rather than focus on the family's video, which is promoting life. Um, They say in this, this video... I respect and honor Mrs. Tebow's decision. This is Joyner. My mom showed me that women are strong and wise, James continues. She taught me that only women can make the best decisions about their health and future. We're working towards the day when every woman will be valued, where every woman's decisions about her health and her family will be trusted and respected. Joyner follows and says, I want my daughter to live in a world where everyone's decision is respected. My daughter will always be my little girl. Um, and then, of course, the, uh, the Planned Parenthood logo pops up on the bottom at this point. He continues, I'm proud of her every day as I watch her grow up to be her own person, a smart, confident young woman, and I trust her to take care of herself. We celebrate our families by supporting our mothers and supporting our daughters and by trusting women, but apparently not pro-life women such as Tim Tebow's mother. The video also, uh, in, in, as the Planned Parenthood logo comes up, there's some music that comes in, and it's all very, very lovely and just, just very heartfelt. Um, incidentally, Tim Tebow uh, also spoke at the National Prayer Breakfast in D.C., and his prayer included the following, Thank you for bringing together so many people that have a platform to influence people for you, Lord. As we disperse today, let us be united in love, hope, and peace. Let us come together as one and break down all the barriers in between us that separate us. Lord, you came to seek and save that which is lost, and we thank you for that. We don't know what the future holds, but we know who holds the future, and in that there is peace, there is comfort, and there is hope. Lord, we pray for the people hurting all over the world, especially for the people in Haiti right now, that you make them perfect and complete because you love them and have a plan for their lives, just as you do with our lives now. So my prayer as we leave today, he continues, is that we are united as one because of you. We love you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. By the way, uh, Whoopi Goldberg 
had no problem with with the Tim Tebow uh, commercial. Amazingly, amazingly enough, she also has not uh, chosen to as many other. Media-